Another new feature on the version 4 software is the snapshot crossfade. What we have here is the queue list of the console. And what we've added now is the ability to set a crossfade time here, uh, which is the time that this snapshot will take to be recalled. So I can now go and set up a time from 0 up to 30 seconds, and I can switch it on or off. And I can do that for both of the two snapshots I've got here, set them to 1.5 seconds. And if I then recall the snapshot, you can see the faders over here fading between the two positions. Also the pans. Actually all the parameters on the channel can be cross-faded like this. And they all respond to one global cross-fade time for each queue. Okay, so we have our queue list here. We have two queues in there. And what I can do is access the cross-fade time for each of these queues by just touching the screen in the middle here. And now you can see below the new crossfade time parameter, which is variable from 0 to 30 seconds in 100 millisecond steps, on off switch so I can disable the crossfade, and the parameter which enables me to control for this queue whether the switches on the desk will fire at the beginning, the middle, or the end of the crossfade time. And I can set the crossfade for each queue separately and the crossfade time applies to all the parameters on the desk and all the channels on the desk so it's a global crossfade but it's separately set for each queue. A final feature on the version 4 software update is snapshot preview and this is a button here in the snapshot control section when I switch it on you can see you get a yellow and black stripe across actually all of the screens on the desk what the preview mode does is it takes the control surface offline from the audio and it allows me to scroll through my queue list, recall, go next and last queue, basically examine what's in the snapshots and if I want to I can even make a, a change to an equaliser or whatever else and I can store that or update the queue and nothing will happen to the audio. The audio is carrying on as it was and then when I want to, when I've finished I switch the preview mode off and the console surface will return back to match the audio that's already running in the system.